Welcome to the creative process. This is a video where I talk about how I start a painting, uh, what techniques I use, what mediums I use. I hope this helps you out and you can see how I create things. And remember, it's about loving the process of the journey of creating things. It's not the destination, it's all about the journey. So when I started this painting, I wanted to do something a little bit different, but uh, add the same style I've done previously. And I know it's always so, so important to paint your backgrounds first. And so I started off doing that. I did a colorful background like I've done in my previous paintings. And now I'm using this technique with uh, the blue tape that you usually use from uh, house painting. And then uh, I painted in this white space. I wanted to try uh, using negative space for this painting, something uh, that's also new. I haven't done too much of this. I use a blow dryer just to speed things up, just goes a little faster. Um, then I go straight into sketching. Um, my sketches usually uh, can go from 20 minutes all the way up to about 45 minutes. It just depends how much detail you want to put in your sketch, but it, I know I'm doing a um, acrylic paint right after this and it's not gonna be pencil so I don't spend too much time but it was a good 45 minutes to an hour and then uh, after that I always put in my uh, darker values um, kind of just the layout where the paint is going but what you want to consider when you have a background and you're putting paint on top of it is that you kind of want to keep as much background as possible while being able to show what you're also painting because you want to see that pattern that you built up in the back as well, right? So after I got that done, I noticed I wanted to pull some of the background back out. Um, and some of the background pieces I painted a little bit lighter. So here I'm pulling some of the background um, paint back out by uh, getting a lighter shade of the green, the blues, the yellows, and just, just pulling them back out from the background because um, I painted over it with uh, the shirt that my subject had. So uh, then I took out some of the hair for just no reason, just wanted to. I thought it'd be kind of cool and a little different. Um, here, I want to emphasize the uh, background blending in with the, uh, the subject. So I lightly go in there and add a little bit of a shading to it with a little bit of white. Um, I use something called retarder gel and uh, it makes it a little bit more opaque and transparent so you could bring back uh, the background layers into the actual subject so it looks like it's uh, blending in. Some of them I went uh, really 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 strong with the white uh, like right there I went deliberately with a all white and then the other ones um not so much i wanted it to be more a little bit more transparent so now i'm bringing back some of the pink uh, i brought back the hair thought uh thought it needed something and then i went in with texture uh, this is something so new to me i've never done used texture before like this um I've done it in the past, but nothing like this. So I use the uh, Impasto by Liquitex. I don't know if they sell that anymore. Now I think they use all gels. And so um, I like the white, but I thought the white was a little too powerful. So I went back, put some tape in, and put in more color. And then I realized it was too dark, way too dark. And it was it standed out too much, so I wanted to dole it out. So what I decided to do was uh, put some white over the darkness of the, the background I just created. And then I also wanted to fill in the white areas. I think it'd be kind of cool uh, because those two sharp lines in the background going vertically were just, uh, it stood out way too much and it took away from the subject. So I wanted to paint in some uh, darker colors uh, to take away from that. And then I went back again and painted it white. Um, I don't really have like a process in the background yet. This is still kind of new for me but um, you just have a feel for it when it's too dark, you come back with white. And then I went white around the edges from that separating the, um, the shapes. And what that does, it, it uh, just puts more shape to it. And then here I splash uh, paint usually on the end of my paintings. So people know it's mine, it's like my signature thing now that I, I do more splash painting. Um, I could have liquefied 
the black a little bit more i noticed that but it, it worked out i mean uh, i think the look i was going for is uh, it was accomplished but if i were to do it again i would do it just a little bit less um pouring liquid from uh, liquitex and just do a little bit add a little bit more water and then the white uh, black and white is pretty safe i didn't want to go too crazy with anything else so that worked out for me well i hope you enjoyed uh, this painting um, it's my friend's uh, grandmother who passed away and so I put a lot of thought and emphasis into the colors and making it look joyful and peace that you know she laid to rest so that's why the colors are pretty bright but not so overwhelmingly bright I, uh, I made them you know like um, more um, of a softer brightness softer colors rather than uh, super solid bright ones and then uh, yeah and so that's what I was uh, aiming for and I, I really like this piece and I, I hope you enjoyed this uh, keep painting and you got to do it every day if you want to get better it's the only way to get better you got to do it every single day and be relentless with your work and make sure every stroke uh, matters <laughs>